And there you go, we got Brian Klein. He's gonna tell you how to use a smart barn. Okay, so I'll give you a little background. Um, I've been at McFarland for 16 years and I've experienced several different types of alarm systems. Um, I've used smart barn, I've used farm alarm, and I've used dirt road. And obviously smart barn is the newest. Um, we've been using it for about a year and a half now. And we've gotten away from all of the other alarm systems just because of how easy it is to use smart barn. Um, it's easy to use. It's easy to set up. Um, you can specify what kind of sensors you want. So if you want to look at power or temperature or water meters, um, basically anything that you need. Now they got a feed bin sensor. So which once, once I get to that point, we will check that out as well. Um, what I like about it, I'm not very tech savvy and I was able to set it up myself. Even when I first tried it, I got the master set up. I put one sensor in to make sure that it would read at the master. I was able to do that all by myself, which <laughs> that says a lot. Um, then once we actually got the system going, um, setting up the sensors and creating, our big thing in our barns is temperature. Um, our birds are very temperature sensitive. And so I need to be able to monitor to make sure that it doesn't get too hot or too cold in our barns. And with Smart Barn, I can set my alarm to go off at whatever temperature I want it to, whether it's high or low. Um, we can respond, most of my employees are within 10 minutes of the farm, so if we do get a text or a phone call you can get, we can get there right away. Um, it's nice to get the text because these days nobody wants to pick up a phone and answer and listen to somebody, <laughs> you know, some computer talking to them. Uh, we love getting the text. Um, two miscellaneous things that I really like are Years ago, there would be three, four people set on the alarm system, and even if you were on vacation, it just automatically called you, no matter what, unless you <laughs> went through a whole rigmarole to turn it off. With Smart Barn, you can go in, click the button, and turn yourself off for a day, a week, whatever length of time you want. You have to click a button, it's very easy. And then my favorite is the app. Um, <laughs> again, I'm not very tech savvy, so this is very easy to use. Give me a second here. So on my phone, I have just a smartphone. I don't have an iPhone, all right? But I have, I have three masters in our Janesville farm. We have a master in a Missouri farm and our hen barn. So our hen barn is a section of our farm that it takes care of our white pheasants, so they actually have their own sensor. I leave them alone, the rest of them I deal with. But I can actually go on here, I'll show you how easy this is, all right? <laughs> but I can go onto my main farm and can you see that there? Yep, we okay. got it. So I can see which room I'm looking at, whether it's our shipping cooler, whether it's a room that has chicks in it. Um, I can monitor how many gallons of water are being used through my water sensor alarm. I can see what the actual temperature is in the barn. I can do all this in a second, just scrolling through and make sure everything's okay. It's just, it's completely easy. <laughs> and if I want to make adjustments too, I can make adjustments on my phone too. I can go to the website, make an adjustment on my phone, and not have to get on the internet on the computer. Um, do whatever I need to do. Go ahead, it's fine. Phone. Oh, I'm no. sorry. Nice. No, it's fine. We're good. We can, we can edit it. Or not. We'll just see. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. No. Um, lastly, with the water sensor that I just mentioned, um, total time saver. One of the biggest problems that we've come across over the years is coming into a water leak. So you walk in and you've got chicks in the barn and there's a lake covering half the room. It sucks with the, <laughs> with the water sensor. It monitors how much water is being used on a daily basis. Then we can decide what we want to set the alarms for. Um, pheasants don't drink a whole lot of water, actually, which we, we had an idea, but now you can actually figure out over a 24-hour period how many gallons they actually do drink. Once we figured out how many gallons they drank at each week of age, we could then sense our set our alarm accordingly how much water they drink. So, for example, let's say they only drink five gallons every 10 minutes. Okay, mm -hmm. no problem. I can tell that by the sensor alarm. I can set my meter to go off at 10 gallons, where if all of a sudden one of the lines pop off, it will go through 10 gallons in less than 10 minutes, and then it'll <laughs> alert us, and we'll get in there, and we'll stop the water leak. So there's a lot of advantages of Smart Barn. Again, it's easy to do, easy to use, and it's easy to change. Awesome. Okay? <laughs>